All right, so the first step is I always put my hair up. I mean, you don't have to, but I definitely like to do that as I have some stragglers. Yeah, today I'm gonna show you the power of concealer. I don't know if you can see this, but have you ever woken up and you're like, crap, dang it, darn it, I have a pimple, and you wanna know how to conceal it. You take this, and only about a pea size, and I like to rub it in with my fingers. The reason why I use my fingers and why a lot of people say don't use your fingers is because um, of the bacteria. You want to prep your area. Um, but just wash your hands continuously. Um, I always have baby wipes nearby. Um, Revlon Photo Ready is the best for when you need ultimate coverage because days like today with this monster guy, I mean, we're not going to completely eliminate him. We can't, you know, perform wonders here, but we can definitely make him look smaller. So take your concealer. Um, I always put it on my finger a little bit before, you know, I never put this on it because then your bacteria is going into your thing and just kind of dab it on there. In the junior high days, we thought that was it. You know, I'll just go out like that and then I mean, by first period, it's gone, and you're like, oh god. Don't look at my face. But you have to realize that life goes on besides for zits, right? So, what you have to do, um, find a multicolored, it's just translucent powder, and set it. If it gets on your lips, it's okay, just don't lick it. Right, you go the T zone and blend everything in so it's not white and then tan. Um, and you want to blend a little bit on your neck. That's where a lot of girls get, you know, stupid when it comes to makeup. This is the best, the best foundation. Um, you don't need a lot. Um, I always start under my eyes and I blend. Go over your eyes and you just start blending. You don't need a lot. He to makeup is not caking it on, it's to make things look natural. The reason why I go in circle strokes, by the way, is it's better to blend. Remember, the key to makeup is not to. It's not to cake it on, it's to make you look natural. I will occur something that is called sweat. Um, so you want to look for translucent powder, pressed translucent powder that, um, that gives you uh, coverage and don't be afraid to bring your makeup to school, if, you know, when you go pee during class periods, especially if you're trying to impress that boy, mmm girl. You gotta, you have to have a translucent powder. Make sure that it, um, again, I use natural uh, stuff. Natural stuff doesn't cost a lot. Um, just go to Target. Um, but I put it on this full brush and you just kinda go in circles. It's like a setting thing and it, it helps what you just put on stay. Voila, my face now matches. But that's not the last step, guys. Um, I see a lot of girls with just white faces. Oh, I forgot to do it here. Um, and that's not a good, good idea. There's no depth. If you've ever taken an art class, uh, your teacher will always tell you about shading and about depth and perception and things like that. And uh, a face is not just a circle. Um, I mean, my face is more circular than most people's, but um, you can. The reason why I put the light here is because you see shadows. You see my little cute butt chin. Um, you see that there's a shadow on my nose. Don't be afraid of bronzer. Bronzer's not just for the snookified people, right? I just made up a word. Um, what I am saying is you don't want to be all one shade because then people ask you, are you sick? Is there something 
wrong with you? No, there's nothing wrong with you. You're just trying to hide a pimple. So right now we're trying to make it look like you don't even have a pimple. You just maybe have a little raised mark. Oh. Uh, mine is Physician's Formula, another Target find. Um, and this one is a white cakey strip because it's a peach glow bronzer brush that is perfect for this. Now, you want to remember the shape of your face, right? You want to have a pair of cheekbones, right? And then for girls with a little extra, you got to put a little here. Trust me, sounds crazy right now, but it works. Okay, looks a little drastic now, but we'll blend. Don't worry about it, girl. Okay? Already great now. Right? I look like a crazy pants right now. Like I, like I added side brains. Stop freaking out, okay? Don't go all the way down your neck with bronzer because it'll look like you just have hickeys. And when people think you have hickeys, get your all-purpose brush again and take out your translucent powder again. Okay? Shake it out. And do circular motion. You lost. If you want to go for a more natural look, just go to school like this, and people will be like, wow, your skin looks so great. And you're like, yeah, I know. Or if you want to dramatize everything to your whole face. But please, for the love of Pete, make sure that you learn shading today, and you learn how to cover up that nasty little volcano that's chilling on your face because could be the difference between living at home with cats and not living at home with cats. Thanks guys, have a wonderful day and happy 2013! It's like you're brushing a goatee on. Really it is. It's so magical.